All right, welcome back to Shay and Fuzzy. I'm Fuzzy. Hi, y'all, on a Thursday afternoon. Evening, actually. Yes. Time to get wound up and get shot out for work. You know what I'm saying? Mm mm mm. Well, the Cafe Bustillo in the old Packers Cup there. Y'all remember I got that here a while back and a lot of stuff. It had a couple of cakes of the uh, Menthol Williams. So, anyway, it's a good stuff. Good coffee. Been a pretty good day. Didn't get as much sleep this afternoon as I really wanted, but uh, you know, some days it's just that way. So today we're going to do something I don't always do. Uh, we're going to compare a couple of razors. We're going to use one on one side of the face and the other on the other side of the face, just you know, because. So anyway, Fat Boy. Uh, this is a very nice looking example, I believe, of the Fat Boy. Uh, really nice looking rhodium. Plated, I believe is what I was told about it. I don't know a whole lot about Fat Boys. It's a two-sided thingy. I don't know. I know they're, for some reason, really desirable when it's, you know, just another twisty, knobby, two-sided thingy. But anyway, and then uh, the Pearl Flexi. And uh, the first thing I noticed between the two is that the Pearl's a whole lot heavier. And, uh, you know, it's machine brass, I was told. Uh, but anyway, it's a lot heavier. Also, of course, the uh, Fat Boy is a you know, vintage Gillette twist open. This is a newer thing. This is actually a two piece. You unscrew the, the base here and the top comes off and the bottom is captive there. So it's a two piece. So we've got a, um, we have a Wilkerson, a Gillette Wilkerson sword uh, blade in the pearl which is an in, made in India. And then we have a Gillette uh, seven o'clock super platinum, which is in the black, uh, black paper, which is also an India blade uh, in the fat boy. So the blades are comparable there. Uh, some people talk about how it matters, the length of the handle, the weight of the handle, where the balance is on the razor, that kind of stuff. I don't think any of that really matters. I really don't. Uh, any little stuff like that is going to sort out with your, with your, uh, you know, technique anyway. So all these people that are hollering that this razor's got a better balance and a heavier razor and a lighter razor, thinks a bunch of horse builders personally. Razor, the razor, the blade, the blade. Well, let's put the two up head to head and see what we get. So for a soap, I was digging around and I came across the. Uh, Came across the uh, Shangri La here that I got a little while back. Wickham Soap Company, 1912 Vegetal Shaving Soap. This is the Dark Edition Shangri La. And it's a really nice, it's got some rose in there and a lot of other things. So it's a really interesting scent. It's got a lot going on. And uh, the Wickham Soap here was a really nice soap. I've enjoyed it. So we're going to use it again. But I hadn't used it in a while. And uh, that's what we're going to do. Broke out the big old Maggard's uh, 6040 Boar badger brush here the big old gargantuan brush this thing big it really is uh, I still don't see any any big deal about having the mixed with the bristles and the hair bore the badger I don't see any advantage in it there's no disadvantage that I see it lathers the same it feels like a badger badger on the face got a good backbone to it not too much backbone it's got good backbone and uh, it uh, loads up really quick with a good little paste of soap here. And let's get it on. So we got a couple of days worth of growth here. I shaved, uh, I don't know, whatever it was. Wednesday morning, I guess I shaved, and this is Thursday evening, so a day and a half, bro, we'll call it. Give us enough to work on here. The scent on this soap is really nice. Scent has nothing to do with performance, but doesn't mean you can't enjoy a good scent. I do well as anybody. And this is a uh, vegetable base, vegetal, so it's not a tallow based soap. Generally, I prefer tallow based soaps, personally, but as you can see, this one uh, lathers really well. 
I've got a couple of uh, vegetable based soaps that I may have to get out and give them a run. I've got this one and then uh, Penhaligans, is that how you pronounce it? The Blenheim bouquet or something like that? I don't know. Anyway, I've got that and it's a, it's a vegetable soap. It does a really good job and what I understand, that's kind of a high end soap. I don't know that for sure, but that's what I understand. Alright. And for those that keep score, I got this light on the moon to start with tonight. So anyway, let's start with pearl on the right side of the face. No particular reason other than it's the one I grabbed first. Now both razors are turned up to their higher setting, which is of course the appropriate setting for an adjustable. Turn it up, leave it up, turn it loose. As you already know, the pearl is a very efficient razor. I don't know the difference in the measurements of the blade gaps between the different razors. Uh, to me, it doesn't make that much difference, so I never really worried about it. Learned it. Very efficient razor without being overly, overly harsh. Like I said, I don't remember the weight even, but it, it is a heavy razor. It, it's definitely heavier than most razors I have. Now I shave with a lot of the single edge stuff and it's definitely not that heavy. So here we go with the uh, Fat Boy. Again, turned up all the way. It's a lighter razor, but you know, I don't really feel a whole lot of, a whole lot of difference as far as the as far as the shave goes. I don't have to push harder. That's another myth that you have to push harder on a, a lighter razor to get it to work particularly. You know, all this shaving is is angle and pressure. Let me go back with the pearl here because I didn't get under my chin there. The growth is a little bit different direction so I had to go the other direction there. All righty. So oh, first pass done. Folks razors doing very well. Can't feel any difference, can't see any difference. Razor to razor, blade to blade. Both of them, like I said, are using Indian steel. Alright. Now I don't know. You know, at one time. ASR, American Safety Razor, was making several different, it was all the same blade, but it was uh, under different brand names. And I don't know if that's true with the, uh, with the different blades that are all made by Gillette in India, if there's any big, supposed to be any big differences in the blades. I don't think there is. And any difference there is, irons out. I mean, really, it, uh, it's a wash in my book. Now, if you find a blade, I'm not saying there can't be a little difference. Maybe a blade made somewhere has a little bit different grind from another blade, whatever. A sharp blade, it's going to shave. Raider to Raider, blade to blade. Alright, so here we go. Here we go with the across the grain. Not going to do it against the grain. I don't see the point in it personally. I could and strive for that BBS everybody hollers about. BBS is basically a myth. And I say that because you can get it, but unless you just have a, a baby's growth anyway, your beard's going to go back pretty quick and you're going to be back to having that you know, sandpaper feel. So why risk the irritation and everything? That's my thoughts on it. Alrighty. Both of these are really nice. Uh, Two-sided. Thingy shaves. with good blades. I mean, the blades are sharp. Both are easy to run around to uh, 
trim up around the goatee. Both of them are maneuverable. The weight difference doesn't uh, seem to cause any problems, not that I noticed. I don't know. Maybe if I was an engineer of some kind or something, maybe maybe we could, but I don't notice any difference in them. All right. All this nice and white down here. Got a good feel to the face from the soap. Doesn't dry at all. Doesn't leave my face feeling dry. Which is a good thing because I don't moisturize. I don't fully eat. clean dip and as usual the prop boy is asleep at the throttle and uh, didn't get the uh, didn't get the good old witch hazel bottle refilled so let's dig around here under under the old counter and see if we can find a bottle of witch hazel I know I got one here there it is just wasn't under there it was up here so anyway we're going to uh, shoot the shoot the prop boy out of the torpedo tubes. Alright. Yeah, that feels good. There's no, uh, both sides. As you get the witch hazel on, both sides just have the feeling need to touch up in the same areas we normally touch up under the neck there. And really, you know, truth of the matter is, I can leave it the way it is. No one would notice. But, you know, it's still, it's part of the routine and routines are important, right? Routines are important. All right, there we go. Beautiful shave. It's gonna be great for work tonight. So I work my uh, regular job tonight. And then when I get off from that, I'll go tomorrow and roll right into the uh, come home and take care of Miss Luna and change out of my uniform and roll right into the second job. Which went really well the other way, by the way. It's, uh, I had worked at that store before. Uh, matter of fact, uniform security back a couple, couple of years, two and a half years, something like that ago. So I knew some of the people there already. And there's still a lot of people that were there then. This is one of those stores that tend to uh, retain, look at that, the people. So a lot of them already knew. That is a high quality shave. Now, you know, I shave with, with single edge razors because I prefer single edge razors. I refer to them as real razors. I, I think single edge is the way to go. I prefer it. But a razor, razor blade is a blade. If the razor holds the blade tight, it's a sharp blade, you're going to get a good shave. There's no difference in my feeling and the way my face feels and what's left between these two razors. They're both wonderful shaves. The thing about adjustables in my book is, you don't need to be twisting that knob around. Set it, forget it. I realized there was a, there was a rotisserie, wasn't it? Someone was, uh, Ronco was uh, selling it one time and that was the thing on it, was set it, forget it. Gillette, cool wave. I figured, well, I'm using Gillette blades. One of the razors is a Gillette. That leaves everything kind of leaning towards Gillette, so. We'll use the cool wave, kind of a newfangled type aftershave. And it's not bad. I like it. Uh, Walmart sells that, and they sell one uh, Adidas Pulse, which is also another not bad. Uh, they're not actually barbershop scents, but they're not bad newfangled scents at all. So there we go. So that's our shave for today. We're going to finish getting ready for work. And uh, we're all nice and smooth and cleaned up, ready to go. But uh, there we go. Pearl Flexi, heavier. It's, uh, you know, machined differently, heavier. Very nice little two-piece razor. The uh, vintage Fat Boy, adjustable Gillette, butterfly open. Uh, this one, like I said, is in really good shape. As far as quality goes, what more do you want with quality? This thing's been around since uh, 50, 60, whatever it is, early 60s. So, uh, you know, this thing's been around longer than I have. And it still looks beautiful, shades beautiful, holds the blade tight, everything works. Quality, right? What more do you want? Pearl Flexi, solid. I mean, this thing is built like a tank. 
more specifically is built like a Russian tank. And, uh, you know, if you like that solid feel, heavy razors, these are great. It's got wonderful checkering on the handle there so that uh, you can hold on to it. Shave it with fuzzy on the cap. Now, that is an advantage. Is there a winner between the two? Yes, me, because I get a good shave out of it. So that's the winner of the uh, showdown here is the person doing the shaving. So there we go. That's what I got. Like I said, we're fixed to get ready. So whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, happy shaves to you. We'll see you next time. Keep on shaving.